Anything to say? Hello and welcome to another week of energy and star sign readings. It has been a while. Um, a lot of stuff has happened. Number one, obviously we're all affected by the lockdown. And um, so don't worry, I'm not going to do a full episode with the mask on. I just thought it's a good reminder as to the time because it happened during Corona time. And then other things have happened. One of them is that I had a tooth that they were trying to save. And then I had a bum the other day. Mm. And it did this. <laughs> ah. Right? <laughs> so now I'm going to find a quiet place and then we're going to do an energy and star sign reading for the week of April the 27th to May the 3rd, 2020. So let's have a look at the overall energy for the week ahead. Let's see what the guides have got to say. Okay, so we have the deer and the cat. Really what that really means, um, because it's the overall energy for the whole week. The idea is to stay as calm and as possible and to just remove yourself from any sort of drama. What comes to my mind <laughs> is to not, you know, pay too much attention to the news and everything and anything you hear, take it with a pinch of salt. That's what I'm really feeling about this. But the point is, just stay calm. Uh, and because we have the cat is, remember, if you remove yourself from drama, do things in your own time, it's going to be fine, right? So don't have a stressed week, no matter what happens. Okay, so that's the overall energy for the week ahead. And now we're going into the very first star sign, which is the star sign of Taurus. Actually, in the week of Monday, April 27th to May the 3rd, 2020, my father will turn 89 on the 27th. And my sister will turn two years older than I am <laughs> uh, on the 30th. So happy birthday. And neither of them watches this, right? Anyway, I said it. <coughs> Here we go with, with Taurus. Okay. Taurus, it is important to realize two things this week. Number one, whatever you're going through, this is not the end of the road, nor the end of the world. You will be looked after. There will always be enough to go around for you. Nothing to worry about. Stay calm and allow for some healing to happen this week. Again, it goes hand in hand with the overall energy where we're sort of learning, you know, to just stay calm. Same thing. But remember, whatever worries you, it's not the end. Okay? That's that. That was short and sweet for Tauruses going into Gemini. Gemini, step back from whatever it is you're thinking too much about. Step back from it all and find a vantage point from which to reassess where you're going from here. It feels to me that sometimes, you know, you know the idea here is that um, you, you have your thoughts and you're trying to make sense of that space in which your thoughts operate and there's just too many thoughts going on and you just can't find proper answers or proper guidance and all the guides are saying is stop overthinking, step back a little and find a vantage point, another way of looking at things, um, a more detached way of looking at things and then reassess your life so to speak. Okay, so that was Gemini going into Cancer, Cancerian. Your star sign, Penny. Yeah. Shall we have a look? Absolutely. <coughs> So apparently all Cancerians have the best looking boyfriends. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's, let's get serious for a second. The, for Cancerians out there, you have the Osprey and the Bighorn Sheep. So there will be new opportunities coming your way and they will come thick and fast. That's number one. There's no need to panic. If you don't know the answer, don't make one up. Right? So there will be, it will be thick and fast. New things are coming. Um, and then you have the Bighorn Sheep. It's basically the, the animal... It hangs on the cliff and doesn't fall. It's also a money card, as we call it. So um, the new opportunities 
will lead to more financial stability. So, all, but what they're saying is because the osprey here is on a um, on water and obviously on a branch, is you will grow, you will grow there. So, in other words, the main message here is is to not to go like oh I'm not sure I can do this this kind of thinking because that will block your yeah okay I go with it thing right. So that's that's happening for for cancerians on a whole. And also, it means trust when someone says, I think you can do this. Don't just go like, ah, nah, right? <laughs> or whatever it is. Trust it and go with the process. Okay? Thank you. That's Cancerians going into Leo. Here we go. Okay. For Leos out there, you have the polar bear and the grizzly bear. Bears are always about calmness and healing, and about not necessarily taking time off, but taking time out of feeling boxed in somewhere. And for Leos uh, this week, we have the polar bear, which of all, of all the bears is the most vulnerable. So what they're saying is do things half the speed, if possible. It doesn't mean you're not going to work or you tell the people they have off. That's not what that means at all. It just means like, no, go slower, go half the speed. You will be fine. And also for Leos, this is a week to be um, not overthinking, but whatever feels that still sits in your soul, so to speak, right? Cry it out. Remember, tears are sacred medicine. Allow yourself to be soft and allow yourself to heal and stay away from stress. Always easier said than done, but that's the, the, the messages we get for Leo this week. And we're looking at the week of April 27th to May the 3rd, 2020. That was Leo going into Virgo. Here we go. Okay, as I always say when I do one of those um, episodes here, that I find you have loads of uh, star signs and the overall energy that overlap, where we just have some sort of a theme going on, energetically speaking. And this is the theme this week, is to say like, you know, let's just stay away from drama, right? Let's not overthink, let's not panic, go with it. That's so far the overall energy for the week. And what uh, Virgos have, you have birds as plural and the eagle. So what they're saying is, Birds mean, you know, again, you move yourself a little bit, see it from a bigger point of view. And the eagle is a bird you wouldn't mess with. So what they're saying is, don't worry for Virgos this week. Simply don't worry. You will see things come your way, right? Everything you see, you figure out. And so there's nothing to worry about uh, for you when you assess your, your future. But trust your inner feeling. Always trust your intuition because your intuition never lets you down. And then obviously because you have birds plural, don't get bogged down in other people's opinion. And you know, everybody has an opinion these days. Sometimes people have two, <laughs> you know, there's all these sorts of things. All they're saying is you will be fine. Stay a little bit detached so you can be more objective, but you will see opportunities coming your way, right? That was Virgos <clears throat> going into Libra and drawn to a different deck. Okay, this is this is for Libra, isn't it? We just did Virgo, didn't we? We did. Yeah, but this is for Libra, and and for Libra, this is um, a bit more difficult. Um, feels a bit more difficult than many of the other star signs, the previous star signs that we just talked about, because the message is, even if things are difficult, keep going. This is not the week to give up on things, and if you then come across anger, if you then come across feelings of being used, if you come across as feelings of I'm not being heard of, I'm not being heard of, no, I'm not being heard, not being listened to, sometimes I can't find the word as you know, you know, bloody foreigner. <laughs> Point is, acknowledge the feelings you have, again, cry it out, there's loads of tears possibly for, probably for, for Libras, but it is important not to make any quick decisions this week. 
it's not as bad as bad as it sounds just keep going and you will get answers as well okay that was Libras going into Scorpio Scorpios, if you want change, then you have to make it happen. Don't wait for someone to hand you a key to something. Sounds a bit harsh and a bit tough, I don't mean it that way. But I, what, what, what that means to say here is to say, you have to have some sort of a plan. You know, if you don't know where you're going and what you want to do, um, that probably might be why it is difficult to manifest something, because you're all over the place. <laughs> so all they're saying is, is, at the moment to Scorpios, is, you know, have a plan. Where would you like to go? And as you all know, it's always better to be somewhere than nowhere. So sometimes people go and they, 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 they want certain things happen at a certain time. And what they, what, they, what they don't do is they don't plan for the next step. They plan for the whole journey and you sometimes can't because there's just too many elements. And that sort of feels the same way. So what they're saying is have some sort of a plan. And then this week, while you're formulating your ideas in a better way, be loyal to yourself. Be good to yourself. As they say in the Kiss song, it ain't no crime to be good to yourself. <laughs> and that's what comes through. Be good to yourself. Allow yourself to treat yourself well and formulate, formulate new plans. Okay? That was Scorpio going into Sagittarius. Okay, it had to happen somewhere, <laughs> or sometime as they say, somewhere <laughs> is just the thing I say. <laughs> it had to, separate, had to happen sometime <laughs> in, the, in the reading, where we're coming to trauma, right? Where we're coming to um, a star sign that is asked to look into their trauma. So we have Sagittarius here, and all they're saying is, yes, things have happened that weren't great. And you do remember them all, right? And that's sometimes why it is difficult for you to keep moving ahead because you remember. But remember as well, since we're talking of memories, you know, not nothing has to be the same. Once you've learned from a certain experience, it cannot manifest the same way because you're not the same person. You're done with it. So it will not be the same way. But what they're saying is something where you feel like, oh, I had a bad, bad experience here and there, I'm not doing this anymore, you're closing doors yourself. And the peacock is basically the animal that has this beautiful wheel, which everybody goes like, oh, it's so beautiful. Yes, but the peacock is the animal that chose the wheel to keep others away. Right? What are you looking at me for like this? I didn't know they have a wheel. The peacock, yeah, when they open it up, it's like, you know, this, this looks like a wheel. Oh, okay. Right? At least in my mind, it looks like a wheel. <laughs> you open it up and it has this whole wheel of um, feathers. <laughs> yeah. That's what I mean. Yeah, okay. <laughs> and uh, the reason why, why the wheel goes up is because he wants to, um, he wants to say to, to, to possible predators, look, I got a thousand eyes. It's more, more here than one. So he uses it not to show off. He uses it to keep people at bay. And the, the um, analogy is that sometimes because you're saying, I'm fine, I'm good, right? People then don't understand that you probably need some time to truly heal and that, and that they offer to you, yes, I'm here if you need me because you might be the person they run to when you're actually the person that needs some help, right? It was a bit long-winded here, but I just tried to say. Anyway, there yeah. were Sagittarius's going to Capricorn. Every time we record something outdoors, I'm getting really hungry. <laughs> so if you hear my, 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 my tummy go, you know, I will take care of it when we're done here. <laughs> so Capricorn, you have the seahorse and the tiger. And what that really means is that the seahorse is an animal that is just an analogy. They're saying that about 90% of seahorses don't make it in captivity. It doesn't mean there's something wrong with you or you're going to croak tomorrow. <laughs> You know, it just means that you need to make sure that where you are heading is where you really want to go. Really, really important not to just follow the crowd. If you're unsure about something, 
it makes sense to get a second opinion it makes sense to look in, into it it's like is this really what i want to do and then go there the 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 other side of your struggles is that you have the tiger the tiger has a really amazing stamina and if the tiger lived where the lion lives the lion wouldn't be the king of the jungle <laughs> so what that really means is you're stronger than you think you are that's number one you're stronger than you think to you think you are so they're not saying to you stop everything and don't do it but because you have the seahorse you have to be sure that your next step is really what you feel is right for you okay that was capricorns going into aquarius the age of aquarius one card fell out wants to be read <clears throat> so we have the crow and the sturgeon actually for aquarius <laughs> Is that the, the word Aquarius? Is there a plural for this? For Aquarius, anyway. I'm not quite sure. <laughs> okay, so for Aquarius people <laughs> out there, you have the crow and the sturgeon. What they're saying is you're going through changes. And these changes will go on, at least that's what my guides give me for this scenario for Aquarius. This will go on for uh, until at least November. More, cl more clarity will come at, at the end of the year around November. But you have to crow, which is the animal of transformation. You're going through all that stuff and you will come out stronger because you have the sturgeon, this is the, 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 the fish that can easily swim or, or, or drift to the bottom of the of the sea while other fish just, <laughs> while other fish struggle. So what they're saying is you're going through transformation, but you will reach your goal nonetheless. Right? So this is the way of saying, okay, be patient, things feel a bit shit at times right so be it you get through it and you will get there in the end right okay that was Aquarius going into Pisces being a Pisces myself is my favorite star sign always very interested to see what what's coming up and obviously that's the second last star sign of the day we have Pisces and then Aries so let's go with Pisces let's see what we got so we got the horse fell out first and the raven so for Pisces this is a week for us to also step away a little bit and not overthink right horses mean you need some space you need some me time possibly some alone time and it's not a negative thing it just means like okay let me just think about this <laughs> kind of thing and you have the raven and the raven is the animal that tells you trust your intuition just trust and you will come not only to your senses at time at times but you will come to to see it's maybe not quite as bad as you thought it would be that makes sense right pisces and obviously i, I know that firsthand we are just very emotional beings so we get upset quite easily and then it takes a long time before this upset leaves which is the horse and all they're saying is just take that time you know just be like okay i need a day here I need a couple of hours here and then just go like okay it's not as bad as i felt it is uh, it, it, you know at first that's it right short and sweet for pisces going into the last star sign of the week which is aries if the weather holds we might do another episode next week in the outdoors i prefer that much more i had a lot of problems breathing uh, lately <clears throat> so i feel like i'm only up so i enjoy recording outdoors um last star sign of the week is aries and aries are asked to slow down okay you have the blue heron the heron is a fish that stands on one leg in the leg uh, a bird sorry <laughs> that, that that stays on one leg in in the water when the fish comes and says thank you right so the, to say that again the blue heron is a bird that stands in the water when the fish comes he goes thank you so what they're saying is slow down things will come to you don't worry about it and you have the river otter Right? And what that really means is you hold on to the people and the situations you care about and nothing will end. Right? Really, really important. Nothing needs to end until or unless you feel it's not worth going there. Right? And the heron is telling you, slow down. Right? What I'm also getting here in a daily is, is to try, <laughs> emphasis on try, not to be too um, argumentative this week, April 27th to May the 3rd.
because the arguments are not going anywhere, because parties might not listen well, right? Um, before we filmed here, we looked into uh, astrology a little bit, and it said there that, uh, especially Tuesday and Wednesday, um, people's conversations, couples' conversations especially, um, might not go so well. <laughs> so, and I feel that probably goes hand in hand with not being too argumentative, right? So, yeah, that's all we have time for. It's great seeing you all again, and um, yeah, see you soon. Bye-bye.